What is open development? In this short video, I'll explain how it means the application of open models to international development. So what are open models? I'll give some examples in a moment, but we can classify those models on the basis of the matrix shown. The vertical dimension shows how open the model is. Open access means people can make use of the source. Open participation means people can engage in creation of the source. The horizontal dimension identifies three different things that can be open, technology, content, and processes. To explain the vertical dimension, let's take open source software. Open access means you have free, open ability to make use of the open source software. Open participation means you have free, open ability to make and change the open source software. So open access means the user is a digital consumer and in open participation, the user is a digital producer. Now looking at the horizontal dimension. Examples of open technologies include open source hardware and software. One main advantage of which is that you can reuse prior work and don't have to redesign from scratch. Examples of open content include open educational resources, which means putting teaching resources online and in the public domain so anyone can use them, and open access research publications. By making these resources available for free online, this helps reduce costs for teachers and researchers in the Global South and helps a little to level an unequal playing field. Examples of open processes include open production, which is expanding fast in the global south, particularly due to the spread of 3D printers, and open education, which is growing through the use of MOOCs, massive open online courses which are delivering new learning to new people. This all reflects the positive potential of open development, but what about the challenges? There are complaints about the time that participative processes take and about the poor quality of some open education resources or some open source software. So open development must take care to address quality and cost concerns. Open development can suffer from motivational and other barriers, which mean value chains are left incomplete. 90 plus percent of people who study on a MOOC do not complete it. And as I discussed in an earlier video, it can be hard to turn open government data into true accountability. So open development must build motivations and capacities. Is openness always a good thing? Some people think not. For example, in a workshop I attended on open development, some North Americans criticized open development because they saw it as anti-competition and anti-markets, while some East Asians criticized open development because they saw it as leading to selfishness and chaos. Plus, there's some evidence that if you make processes and organizations very open, then they can no longer function properly, what I call the curse of hyper-transparency. Finally, there can be a clash of institutional logics, which are defined as values and practices of networks of individuals and organizations that shape meaning and behavior. Open development initiatives will tend to stir up conflicts between networks of open logic that they introduce and networks of closed logic that already exist. For instance, in South Africa, a university team sought to introduce open source, open innovation software to help pharmacies dispense medicine to those with AIDS. Universities are traditionally places of closed logic closed access to education unless you meet admissions requirements and pay high fees, closed educational resources that lecturers don't share, closed innovations that are patented by the university. So this clashed with the team's open logic, which believed in freedom of access and ownership and participation and collaboration. Overall, only if these challenges, quality, cost, value chain, degree of openness, institutional logics are addressed, can open development fulfill its potential. If you'd like to know more, then take a look at the ICT for Dean textbook. And thank you for watching.